There are lots of kinds of schools, district, magnet, charter, religious, which includes parochial, private, and voucher schools. But for all their differences, they can be placed in just two categories. Schools of choice, meaning if they don't get parents to choose them for their kids, any particular one of them will cease to exist. And zip code schools. No one has to choose them. They get assigned a steady stream of kids based simply on each student's home address. Now let's look at charter schools, which are taxpayer-financed schools of choice. They have to be granted a charter from the state, but they're privately run. One of the best charter schools in the state is the North Star Academy in Newark. Do you like this school? Mm-hmm. How do you like it compared to whatever school you were in before? Like, um, my old school? Yeah. It, it didn't really teach you that much. It was just like, like fighting a lot. And usually in my old school, when students fight, they'll, they'll break it up and stuff. They wouldn't break it up. But in this school, like, they don't, they don't allow kids to fight. So. so they don't allow kids to fight, period. This is how they begin every day, with a drum circle and student assembly that wakes everyone up. But then, students walk quietly between classrooms, each of which are named after colleges. First of all, we build a culture that is distinct from anything they've lived in before. We call it a professional world, we, a college-ready world. They step in the door and they sense that this place is different. And that's how they shake your hand as you walked in. They greeted you. They said, welcome to North Star. You saw them being trained in behaviors of the professional world. We're getting 50 to 60 cents on the dollar compared to the district schools to deliver 120% of the program when you figure a longer day, longer school year. Can't you kick out a bad kid and if you do, they go back to the regular system? The expulsion rules in a district school and a charter school are identical. Um, so there's nothing, there's nothing different about that. While math class inspires fear in lots of kids, North Star gets its kids to say, bring it on. Bring on the math, bring on the work, you have nothing to fear. Bring on the math, bring on the work, you have nothing to fear. We'll take the same students, but give us you know, our own staff, our own leadership, and put the system into place. It's sweating the small stuff. It is a longer school day, it's a longer school year, it's school uniforms, it's smaller classes, it's great teachers, it's a rigorous curriculum, it's the use of interim assessments to drive the instructional program. Mr. Randolph was sure that if his son knew he was... Some skeptics think charter schools only do better because they get the most gifted kids in the first place, and so the higher scores at charters are just a function of higher performing kids coming in through the door to begin with. But usually, that's not the case. The students are admitted by a random lottery. And so that if you look at students coming into North Star Academy, for example, students arrive here uh, in the fifth grade scoring lower than the district average on the state test. So if fifth graders come to North Star below average, how do they finish? In regular Newark district schools, only 58% of students score proficient in language arts. North Star does 23 points better. In math, there's an even bigger gap. And in case you think North Star is spending more, well, you'd be wrong. Like many charters, North Star is so much more efficient than the district schools that it spends 25% less per student, even without the economies of scale of a large district. Another high-performing Newark charter school is the Robert Treat Academy. visited Robert Treat, all the uniforms and well-behaved kids were inspiring. But how do they do academically? Well, I bet you can guess. Now we'll be looking at eighth grade numbers. In the regular Newark district schools, only about half are up to snuff in language and only about a third in math. Robert Treat just blows them away. And all for 64 cents on the dollar. Principal Palante tells me how the district schools spend their extra money. Personnel, curriculum, I mean, there's, there's a million offices. You can make them up as you go along. And they all require uh, 
a director, assistant director, people, secretaries, equipment, and that's a lot of money, money that can be spent on the kids. Our motto here at the school is we do whatever we have to do to get the job done.